Wimbledon is going on this week, of course. You know, one of the biggest tennis um, uh, championships uh, in the world is going on this week. Alina Svitolina is in the championship. She's going to be playing the quarterfinals today. Friday, she played a match, but she also had concert tickets to see Harry Styles. She gave up the concert tickets that she'd had for a while just so she could play in the match. And then she ended up winning and moved on to the quarterfinals. You mean she had a choice? She had a choice. You wouldn't think they would have a choice, an athlete like that. Well, she could turn it down if she didn't want to and say, I want to go to this concert. I've had them for a year and I want to go. But she said, nope, I'm going to, you know, this is my job. It's my profession. So I'm going to give up the ticket. She gave them to a fan, which was kind of cool. Good for her. It makes you think about when you give up something for something else. I know Liz has done that multiple times. Well, one time I was supposed to, I got cast as Lady with Dog in the show Outer Banks. This has been years ago. Lady uh, with Dog. Right? It was like going into season two or whatever. And me and my dog, Charlie, were supposed to be in it. But I opted to do the adult thing and, and go to work the next day. And not Good try to get her. a vacation day or whatever. Good for her. Yeah. yeah. So Ninja gave up a trip somewhere. It was like Montana or something like that. My husband gets to do cool photo shoots in different places, and he's going to Montana, but so I can have a Christmas vacation. You. I was like, I can't go. Uh, and that's a hard choice. <laughs> Montana's beautiful, Montana. I hear. Yeah. I would love to go to Montana. Yeah, but then you don't get a Christmas vacation, so I get it, totally. Yeah, very real. Yeah. And, and then, Scott, what was it you gave up? It was like a football game. You know, I'm a big Georgia Bulldog, and back in the 90s, a little backstory, Tennessee had their way with Georgia pretty much every year. But in 2000, this was the game in Sanford Stadium that they were going to win. And my cousins got tickets, which were hard to come by, and they said, hey, come to the game with us. And I said, I can't. And they're like, what are you talking about, turning down a Georgia game? Well, I had a first date set up with my wife Uh, to be. He picked love over the Bulldogs. But you didn't even did. you didn't even know it was love because it was a first date. You didn't know how that was going to turn out. Oh, he knew. I didn't. I didn't. I, I, knew, I knew she was special. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I said, I can't. I got to go. I got to go, See? you know, spend time with her. So That's so sweet. Yeah, that was a good pick. Right? Yeah. <laughs> even though I missed the game, that was That's very okay. well worth it. Yeah. You wouldn't yeah. have had a marriage. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Never would have worked out. <laughs> Makes you think about when someone gave up something for someone else. Love to hear your story.